How to use a level. This discussion is to talk about levels and feeler gauges for your old automotive days and how to properly calculate shimming and how far off the level is. On a level, there are basically three bubbles, usually. This is at the 45 degree angle for leveling objects that are at 45 degrees from horizontal. The middle bubble, which is a horizontal bubble, usually used for straight horizontal. And finally, the vertical bubble used for horizontal alignment to determine when something is perpendicular to, the, to Earth. Sometimes called a spirit level, bubble level, fairly portable tool used heavily by many people who ever have to level something. There are two basic edges to a level that are of importance. The bottom edge, which is what's normally used to level, say, a tabletop, or level a vertical surface. Alternatively, the other side can be used as well, but there is a distinction between these two sides. On the level that you have, notice one, that you have a magnetic strip that allows us to be plugged against metal and hold in place. And on the other side, a vertical groove. The purpose of the vertical groove is for when we use shafts or cylindrical objects such as pipes or tubing to attempt a level. We merely put the groove on top of the pipe so that it fits tightly. Henceforth, aligning the level with the pipe. If we're slightly off, it will not fit in that groove. Only when we are exactly aligned will this pipe edge on this side fit into this groove holding it in place. Next we will attempt to level this tabletop. And to determine whether this tabletop is level, we merely place the level on top of the tabletop and examine the bubble to determine its levelness. In this case, as we look closely, is this tabletop level? We can see by the bubble that the bubble is on this black edge well inside this black edge. So at this point, for our purposes, we consider it close to level, but not quite level. In order to level this, notice where the bubble is located. It's located closer to our left. That means this left side is higher than this right side. So if I continue to raise this left side, the bubble moves further over to the left. If I move the right side higher, the bubble moves further to the right. So in this case, to attempt to perfectly center this bubble within those two black lines, which way do you think we should move the level? That is correct. We should raise it from the right side doesn't look like it would take much to raise it to level. That's okay. What we're going to discuss here is how to fine-tune, so to speak, leveling. There is the gross level where we are off by quite a bit, in which case we have a bubble like this. It's merely a matter of raise a fair amount, measure. But most of our leveling is really going to be very close. So for the purpose of this, we, go we are going to introduce our next piece of equipment referred to as the feeler gauge. Old-time automotives, when people set their point gaps, almost everybody was used to feeler gauges. Very thin, they, compri they are comprised of a lot of finely machined thicknesses of metal. Of a variety of sizes that provide us an opportunity to precisely set a thickness of metal. Some of these will be within, say, three, four thousandths of an inch and be very flexible. As you can tech, very flexible. Some of the thicker ones are quite stiff and hardly bend at all. Usually you go anywhere from 30 mils or 0.030 inches 
all the way down to 3 mils or 0 0.003 inches. The idea on a level is to, first of all, just the old-fashioned shim under the level till we get the bubble to precisely where we want to be, which is dead center. As we mentioned before, we normally want this bubble in the center, so we have to raise the right side. The proper way to shim is to shim from this right. We will attempt to do that by getting as close as possible to the tabletop, put underneath, and carefully monitor when the bubble rises. Without the shim, the bubble looks like this. With the first attempt at shimming, the bubble's a little closer, but not quite. So to this, we add another level of shimming, and basically keep stacking the shims or the feelers until we get our desired bubble location. This is looking very close. And that is about the target we're looking for. This was achieved, backing up again, And notice where our thickness is, is we put the shim here at the end, press down flat against the tabletop to get our bubble to be exactly aligned between the two black spot lines. We got that, we have the proper amount of thickness of metal, which we would later use for a shim. These two thicknesses, we add up, reading the number carefully, on the side. This is a zero point, this is a point zero zero five shim. This thicker part is a point zero two one shim. Point zero two one, point zero zero five. Point zero two one plus point zero zero five is a total thickness of 0 0.026. Writing the math of that again. So when we run our level, notice level, tabletop, two shim thicknesses, 0 0.021, 0 0.005, we add those two together to get 0 0.026, or an equivalent thickness of 0 0.026. This is added to these two together to get the equivalent feeler gauge depth. This is the depth or the amount in inches that we have to raise this end of the level to achieve a level surface here at the bottom of this level.